welcome again to my channel this is shell ducks channel um, I notice you may notice that I have a makeshift thing here to hold up the bonnet it's because the Sun is kind of giving me some issues if you look at the side here so the video wouldn't be um, properly you wouldn't see it properly because of the Sun so kind of make some makeshift thing here to hold the bonnet in place so that we can have a better look at what is happening here all right so in this video we'll be looking at how your air filter can cause you to use more fuel the reason why i am doing this video is because um, today i left home with uh, five bars on my um, fuel gauge and uh, after returning home i only have three bars now for me that is a big no no because i usually use one bar going to work and back now i am using two bars and that is that can work cannot work neither for me or anybody else that cannot work and um because i did a video the other day on my ear filter and i noticed that it needs changing i am saying what the heck the ear filter is causing me to use far more fuel than i would normally use to travel to work and back so how does this little thing here called the ear filter cause you to use more fuel than normal now in a previous video i did i spoke about ear restriction and i spoke about ear restriction while the vehicle is idling now i will talk about ear is restriction while the vehicle is in full operation now when the vehicle is operating at maximum speed and i don't mean maximum speed in terms of going 180 kilo or 200 kilo or 100 miles an hour or 200 miles an hour i'm not talking about that once you pass say 80 miles an hour or 100 kilo an hour you are really at a, a good enough speed that you're going very fast now when you're moving that fast with your vehicle the vehicle requires a lot of air to pass into this air filter go into the engine to sustain the air fuel mixture that is taking place inside the engine for a good burn of the engine now if that air fuel mixture is not coming in if the air is not coming in or enough air is not coming in through this air filter what will happen is that the engine or the computer will try and compensate for that lack of air that should be passing through this filter and how does it compensate with that it increases fuel so in order for the engine to continue operating at that high speed because it's not getting enough air to assist in the operation of the engine the computer will detect the lack of air and then add more fuel to allow the engine to continue to run at that high speed so this little culprit here this thing here is it, it is a very it's very useful in filtering the air passing into your engine but it can cause you a lot of money in terms of fuel and it can cause you to be using more fuel than is normal to operate your engine so you have a, a filter that is blocked or is not passing enough air through it at higher speed the engine or the computer will demand more fuel and because enough air is not passing through in order to maintain the operation of the engine the, in, the computer will allow more fuel to pass into the system and thus causing you to use more fuel because of this little thing here some vehicle have a bigger one mine have a small one but no matter how big or small they are it can cause you to use more fuel than is normal so if these are dirty needs changing change them they don't cost much so we can always take them out and change them and, and it's not difficult to remove this earbox to um to take out this and replace it 
and what you can do whenever you take it out you can always carry it to your auto parts place and allow them to match it with what they have so that you don't buy the wrong thing hopefully this can be of help to you in determining if your vehicle is using too much fuel or not thank you for watching please subscribe and have yourself a nice time